skin comes together very nicely. As you can see, it's very cosmetic, very clean procedure. It's gonna look very nice afterward. So, hi Arthur. Yes, sir. How you doing? So, well. yeah, yeah. So, Arthur came in for a chemical metrosectomy, which is a phenol metrosectomy, and uh, today found out that his He's diabetic and his sugars has not been as well controlled so I decided to switch over to a surgical metrosectomy today because uh, it does take more effort to do the surgery and keep it uh, nice together afterward however it's a lot uh, less infection rate a lot cleaner procedure especially him being diabetic uh, I'm concerned about doing phenol right now because of his sugar level so I'm, I'm cutting it out and then he has to keep it dry and it'll be a lot better healing and less uh, chance of infection. So this is a time that I use the uh, surgical metrosectomy because it's cleaner and much uh, better for certain uh, patients, especially uh, the diabetics uh, with the sugars that are not well controlled. So is that, that's okay with you, right, Arthur? Yes. I know we, we, we already talked about it, but uh, uh, just wanted to make sure. So right now what I'm doing is uh, he's got uh, this nail already taken out. It was really deep inside. So I'm, I'm cutting into the area to, this is where the matrix is, right in, in the back here. So I'm going all the way down and then making a one large piece that I'm gonna take out as one piece, which is very important because we wanna make this look very nice. Um, so I'm making this one big piece out of this whole thing. Keeping in mind that um, the matrix is quite deep in here, so I have to go quite deep inside to take this uh, matrix out. So I'm still freeing up the matrix. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this whole thing out in one piece. That's my goal. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but my goal is to take this whole thing in one piece. So it'll be nice and clean. So I'm grabbing the tissue here. As you can see, this piece is coming. This part, as you can see, is really deep. This is where the uh, matrix is. So I have to kind of go underneath the skin and scoop this whole thing out in one piece. That's kind of my goal. There you go. This is the matrix that they came out. Here's the piece. I just wanted to show you again. And then I'm gonna make sure that all the pieces came out in one piece, which looks really good. See how deep it is? right next to the bone. And I use this uh, little instrument called the round jaw. And then I go in there and make sure that I get all the different pieces out. If I leave anything behind, then the nail can grow back. So it's very important to keep this area really clean. As you can see, I've done this quite a few times. I can take this whole thing out in one piece. See how clean the whole thing looks? Because it's really clean, the whole matrix is out of there. And now I'm going to get some saline water to it's, it's almost done, Arthur. Pretty quick, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. I just need to uh, suture this together so it looks nice afterward. So right now I'm flushing the area with some good water. I do like to do it one more time. There you go. That's just to flush and clean the area, which is really important for the bacteria not to be there anymore. And here, what I do now, and I take the sutures now, and put a few sutures to this area. As you can see, it's a nice suture. So I put one suture right at the base, to make sure this looks really nice. 
nicely come together. And then I put that base together nicely like that. And this is an amazing tool. As you can see, there's a scissors right there too. So when I'm operating by myself, this really helps to do the whole thing and I don't need an assistant. So we have to close this area. So I go from the other side of the toe and then bring it over the toe and then kind of put the whole skin together. As you can see, it'll, it'll come together very nicely. Like that. See, as you can see, the skin kind of came together very nicely. Okay, and then we'll cut the scissors there. And then I'll do the Last part, I'll do one more to make sure that the skin comes together very nicely. As you can see, it's very cosmetic, very clean procedure. It's going to look very nice afterward. So the only problem with this procedure is it does take time to get better, and it, you do need to stay off of it for about a week. Um, so as you can see, all the switches came together nicely. So voila, as you can see, it looks very nice right there. It's closed very nicely and tight. So it looks very cosmetically appealing after the procedure. I'm gonna give him some medicine. I'm gonna have him keep it dry. I'm gonna put him on some antibiotics and they should do the job. Thank you.